Hello everyone, it's Nick here from Cisco Meraki, and I'm your sales representative for Africa. Got my jacket today. Looks like the more videos I do, the posher I get. Um, although underneath, I've got a shirt on. I had to leave really early this morning, so I haven't really ironed it. So uh, thank goodness for swag. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to do with you today is just take you through um, our assurance platform. Um, this is a software or license uh, which we include in the um, MX or actually add onto the MX and this will allow you uh, to look at your WAN health and also all of your SaaS applications and how they perform and should you have any problems or you need to troubleshoot at least you know exactly where that problem sits whether it's on the LAN, the WAN or servers or client devices. Normally these types of troubleshooting exercises take between yeah, how long is a piece of string? But uh, you can spend a good couple of hours or three hours trying to find out where the problem is, whether somebody's having a bad experience in another site with a particular SaaS application, could be Office 365 or whatever it is they're using. And that could be down to many, many things. And it can arise as a result of your LAN, could arise as, as a result of your WAN uplinks, um, or it could just be the uh, web server connection uh, that you may have and um, this product will be presented to you by Dimitri. He's created a little four minute video for us to uh, have a look at the product and I found it quite interesting. It adds a lot of value and it, it helps you hold your ISPs as well as um, any providers uh, to account. So without further ado, I'm going to play that video for you now and I'll be back in four minutes. So what is Meraki Insight? It's an assurance platform built on top of the MX security appliance with the aim to reduce troubleshooting from hours to minutes. With the constant increase of use of software as a service applications, such as Office 365 or Gmail, a tool like this will be critical for an admin as issues will directly impact business and productivity. We start off with a high level view of all the applications used across the entire organization. They can be well-known apps or bespoke ones, maybe residing in a private data center. It doesn't really matter. As long as the MX sees the flow, it will be able to report on it and then break it down in meaningful components, such as LAN, WAN, or server. This immediately attracts the attention to potential issues, making sure the troubleshooting is focused on the right area. Note the map on the right-hand side. Sites experiencing performance issues are marked in red and hovering over them will reveal what applications and how many users are currently being impacted. Clicking on an app, remember we are still in an organization view for now, will give us the breakdown of performance in each site. And clicking on the elements will also reveal how many users are impacted and how many are not. Uh, in this case, for example, I can assume if I was load balancing across my WAN links at that particular site and one of the WAN links had issues, uh, this will naturally impact only half of the users at that particular site. For extra information, going back a week, we can click View Trends and here we can see uh, the performance scores. So 100 is best while at zero, nothing is uh, working. Um, a breakdown of the clients who access the app, the servers they connect to, and also the uplinks they follow to get to that particular resource. And this brings me to the latest feature, focusing on the WAN links themselves. In most cases, the ISP links are to blame for poor performance. So this tool, which we named WAN Health, is gonna list all the uplinks across the entire organization uh, together with usage, latency, loss, signal strength if you're using any sort of 3G, 4G failover, and also what applications are negatively impacted by the poor performance. This can also be used to plan for redundancy. As an admin, we know exactly what sites are being most problematic and need to be tackled first. Also, if the customer has an active standby setup, One Health can be used to check that the standby links are still operational and ready to take the load in case the primary uplinks fail. 
Last but not least, this tool can be used to make sure the service provider SLAs are being honored. To finish off, remember that MI requires only a license per site and no extra hardware. Back, and I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, thanks to Dimitri for putting that together for us. I think MI is one of the products um, that we've just recently released um, and it's making waves um, across all of our customers who have our MX. Um, as you may know, the MX is an all-in-one UTM device. It covers your software-defined wide area network, which allows you to custom performance class um, all of your applications and voice, uh, where important. Um, it also provides you with all of the security that you require, so your active malware protection, uh, taking you um, to new heights in terms of ensuring that your business is secure, IDS, IPS, um, and then you also have all of your content filtering available as well. So all in one CEO of your company, um, can I call it, or your network, um, taking care of it and leading it in the right direction. And at the same time, obviously, we'll continue to improve our products uh, via uh, software updates uh, that we'll send out to your network. So thanks very much for your time today and uh, have a lovely day.